Well, I swore I was never going to get dragged into another seemingly never-ending post-apocalyptic TV show, but here we are. My wife and I started The Last of Us last week, and now I'm hooked. So let's do a quick little laser project, make something nice for the media room. So I'm just going to pull something from Google Images for now. I'm going to sort to large size, and nothing here really sticks out, so I'll just go with the official HBO banner here and open it in a new tab. So this photo is not particularly great for laser engraving. It's dark, it's not very contrasty and not very sharp. So we'll see what we can do to make it better. So now I'm gonna download it and open it in Photoshop. First step, I'm gonna increase the DPI of this image from 72 up to 318. 318 is just a good all around number for my laser. From there, I'm going to discard all of this color because the laser needs a black and white image. So I'm gonna to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. From there, like I mentioned, this image is a little dark, it's a little soft and not very contrasty, so let's do some editing here. I'm gonna to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and from here, I'm just gonna play with these settings over here on the right to find something that I think would engrave well. I'm just gonna boost the exposure, boost the contrast. Highlights are a big one. Um, this white area around her face and his face coming in from the right here. The problem with boosting the exposure and the contrast too much is you're gonna blow that section out. So you wanna make sure to deal with that correctly. Next, I'm gonna to come to the detail panel and boost the sharpening just to create a nice sharp image. And I think that looks pretty good. I think I can deal with that. Now that I have the image set to the DPI that I want and did some of my photo edits, I'm going to bring this into ImageR. I'll be using ImageR to select the dithering profile that I want for this image. I don't have any cropping and resizing things to do because I did all that in Photoshop. This is set to the size and the DPI that I want. From there, I'm going to select the Cassia White Tile Painted Black Algorithm. And I'm going to select OK. And this is what our dithered image looks like, and this is what the laser is going to engrave. If you want to see what this actually looks like to the human eye, you're going to go over here and click Invert. So now it's time to export this image and open it in Lightburn. And here is our image imported into Lightburn. Now for the settings I'll be using, I like to do 5,000 speed, 5,000 millimeters a minute, and max power at 9%, bidirectional scanning on, negative image on because I need this, I need Lightburn to invert all of these dots so it'll scan correctly onto the scratch paper. And then from here, since we already made our edits in uh, image R, you have to click pass through. So it, it's going to disregard all of the information in here. Last step is to just rotate this vertically because I'm going to be scanning it on a piece of paper going this direction. Now for a quick preview of the file, expand this. This is going to take me a total estimated time of an hour and 52 minutes. So let's get it started. The material we'll be engraving on is scratch paper. This stuff is really awesome because it comes in big packages and it's really cheap. It is a layer of white paper or rainbow paper covered with a waxy black surface. You can see here's a couple examples of some work I've done on the white and the rainbow, as well as a photo I engraved using the white and black scratch paper. <music> All done, time to brush it softly with a clean microfiber cloth. Final step, hit it with some clear coat. I was a little hesitant due to the temperature in my garage today, but it looked like it dried pretty evenly. And here's a look at the final result. I think it came out pretty good, took about two hours to engrave and then another couple hours for the clear coat to dry. Now I just gotta find a frame so I can hang it up and get ready for the next episode. Thanks for watching.